Hey there and welcome to No Recipe Required. Tonight I'm going to do a pea soup for you. Soups are, uh, you know, I'm increasingly getting into soups because frankly they're easy to make, they're absolutely delicious and it's a great way to incorporate, you know, vegetables into my diet and, you know, look at that chin, I could use a few more vegetables. So uh, this dish, peas, we're going to do uh, you know, just a little bit of onion in there, a little bit of carrot, finish it with some mint, it's absolutely awesome. You can serve this either hot or cold. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our pea soup. Now, a lot of vegetable soups like this, I start off with a little bit of bacon or pancetta, something like that that um, you know has kind of that salty, smoky flavor um, that I think just really accents vegetables really, really well. That is a uh, you know it's a technique that's repeatable across all kinds of soups like this. So I just added a touch of olive oil to the pan to just kind of help my bacon get started. And um, I diced up, this is just one slice of bacon. If you really want to keep it vegetarian, you can absolutely do that. But this is what I prefer. So I'm going to let this bacon saute down for about 10 minutes or so until it gets nice and crispy, the fat renders out, then we'll come back and add some of our other ingredients. Okay, 5-10 minutes over medium heat. Your uh, bacon's going to be nicely browned. To it, I'm going to add a medium onion, uh, diced, a couple cloves, large cloves of garlic, and a stalk of celery. This is going to be, you know, a lot of our base flavors for the soup. I'm going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm just going to let them sweat down. Okay, my vegetables are soft. That means it's pea time. Um, what I've got here, uh, frozen peas are actually, I think, quite good. Um, I've got at least two cups here, maybe two and a half cups. You know, again, the quantities, you don't sweat the quantities, not going to make a huge difference. Um, I'm just going to add the peas, uh, let them thaw for just a second, or let them kind of scrape up the, uh, the bottom of the pan, give them a little bit of salt. Um, and then I'm also going to add um, some thyme. I've got fresh thyme here. If you're using... Um, if you have dry time or you only have dry time, you can certainly do that. I'm going to add maybe a um, half a teaspoon or so. Let's get the rest of those in there. And you don't have to worry too, too much about getting it, you know, perfectly neat because we are going to, uh, we're going to puree the soup. So let me go. I'm going to grab my chicken stock. We'll come back. We're going to cover this with chicken stock and uh, just bring it to a simmer. Really, it's not going to take long. Maybe a uh, 10 minutes before everything is cooked. Okay, so after just, you know, five minutes or so on a simmer, those peas are going to be fully cooked. Time to blend the soup. You can either um, go ahead and use a blender or, you know, the stick blender like I've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want to get it all nice and smooth um, and silky. Um, once we do that, we'll come back, we'll give it a taste and, um, oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm going to add a little bit of mint to my um, to my soup here. Mint and peas, pretty common. Um, the mint kind of brightens everything up. I think I like just a little bit. You know, that was maybe a tablespoon. Um, you can always add a little bit more after you give it after it's blended and uh, and you give it a little taste. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come back in just a minute. Okay, once we've got it blended up, you want to give it a little bit of a taste. Make sure it's seasoned properly. This one, use a little more pepper, maybe just a touch more salt. And then um, I'm also going to add just a few tablespoons of cream to my pea soup. And that's going to give it a nice richness, kind of a velvety texture. Blend that up, and then um, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and serve this up. Okay, we've got our beautiful fresh pea soup right here that we're going to serve in a nice bowl as opposed to, <laughs> I don't know, a cup, plate. Uh, you want to give it a nice little scrape on the side or clean up on the side. Maybe garnish with just a little bit more of that uh, mint, finely chopped. And then also, I've got a little lemon here. We can do a little zimenless, zimenless, lemon zest right over the top as well. And this is a beautiful a uh, nice summer soup. You can even serve this chilled and it'd be absolutely awesome. There you go. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.